Hello, I've been wanting to do this video for a little while, um, slightly embarrassing. There are 16 different flavors of High Smile and I own 13 of them. So to put these to good use, I wanted to do a video where I basically just taste test them all, rank them from favorite to least favorite, and also just a quick explanation of what each of the flavors taste like in case you were looking at buying some. And that's pretty much everything that I'm gonna cover. So I'm gonna get straight into this, but the, the uh, flavors that I am missing are the new release ones. So that cherry I thought I had, I can't find it. So I clearly don't have that one that pistachio is a new release don't own that very intrigued will buy and we'll do like a short on that instead and also the cinnamon one also very intrigued will buy and we'll do a short on that one but for this video I've got the remainder so let's just get started because it's gonna take me a little while okay so starting with the mint toothpaste I'm just gonna pump a little bit onto my finger of it oh, that's way too much for a taster but and I will keep a tally on the screen as to what's ranking to start with obviously this will be number one to start with but Okay, mm -hmm. number one place, because it's the first one we're reviewing. Um, I've always liked this mint one. The reason I like it is it's a really nice, subtle, almost spearmint flavor. It's really refreshing. It leaves a very clean taste in your mouth. The aftertaste is really nice, and it is just a really fresh mint. There's no other way to explain this. I've always loved this one and I'm going to put it in first place. So it's actually a hard one to beat for me, oddly, because you kind of, when you buy high smell, don't want to go with a normal flavor, but I do really like this mint flavor for this. So mint. And also I will leave links down to each of these flavors below if I can find them. And yes, mint. First place. Okay, this next one I know is my least favorite from what I've owned and tried. I've only tried about five. So um, I am going to just pick it up, put it in second place, and we can knock it out of the table. So this is the Red Velvet. I thought I would like it because I have a sweet tooth. I don't necessarily dislike it. I just like others more. So let me just retry this one. Yeah, I don't dislike it. All the high smells have like a kick of freshness that comes in after the flavors. So expect that as a comment from me on all of these. But the flavor of this one, it's more like the Christmas cakey vibe. The icing side. So is that almond that gives that flavor? I'm not sure. That white icing, don't know how you make that one, but that's what it reminds me of. So if you are into that, then you will really like this. And if you aren't, um, you won't dislike this at all. It is a really nice flavor, um, but it just won't be as nice as some of the other ones. So second place for now. Okay, one that I have not tried that I really want to try is the cotton candy. I expect to put this straight into first place. I'm hoping to put it straight into first place, so we will see. I absolutely love the color of this packaging. It is very alley. It's actually really hard to have these back to back. I think I need something in between, hang on. Okay, I don't laugh at my logic, but I grabbed some flavored fizzy water and some bread. I want to just like get rid of the mint flavor from the previous toothpaste so I can actually taste the flavor of this one otherwise it's like over dose of minty so just give me a second to just refresh my palette okay it's not just me it's nice it's just not really an obvious flavor to start with but again I'm gonna do this to have more to explain it love the packaging <laughs> like that is what this is going for it the flavor is really distracted by the mint in this one but it is like a burnt sugar it is cotton candy. It's just not obvious. Yeah, that is really difficult for me. I just can't taste it that well. So I almost can't put it in first or second because I can't taste it properly. I'm just going to put it in third out of being fair to this test and just move on. And then I might just try it again at the end or something. Let's just go into watermelon because watermelon is a safe one that I think a lot of people do like. Again, the pink on this one. Pretty. Okay, like instantly I can taste watermelon. Mm. And it's so refreshing and fun. Okay, that is a very distinct flavor compared to having the cotton candy. This one I'm going to put straight into first place because it's yummy. It makes you excited. It's just, it's just nice. I don't know. <laughs> These are toothpaste. Help me out. Like, it's really difficult to explain. It's, it's, it's yummy. It takes you on a bit of a journey and it has a freshness to it as well. So I'm going to put it in first place because it gives me all the things. The flavor, the freshness, and the excitement of having it. So there we go. Moving back to another candy one. This is the Wonka chocolate toothpaste, which blew my mind. My kids have tried this one. I haven't yet. I really have no idea what to expect for something that is a chocolate flavored toothpaste. Okay, I'm excited. Oh, I didn't eat my bread. Hang on. Okay, Wonka chocolate. Mm. What the? Wonka? <laughs> what? What the hell? I really appreciate this packaging too. Okay, it's really nice. I appreciate it. I think it's interesting, which is tricky because I'm like, 
I like it. The, <laughs> I like that it tastes chocolatey. It really does. It's not sickly chocolate. It's just like a hint. You have to give it the whole like you do taste like chocolate Wonka toothpaste. You really do. But then it's like with mint, which is nice. They do complement each other. But it's not like like and it is again like the watermelon. It's kind of like exciting. But for brushing your teeth with, it doesn't give you like that freshness and that like fruity excitement, which I feel like can be like clean and teeth. I don't know. I'm gonna do the worst job of explaining this, I think. <laughs> Chocolate, you don't wanna brush your teeth with. So when it comes to like ticking all the boxes, I'm like, this is exciting, this is fun. I really do like this, it's yummy, but it doesn't tick as many boxes as the watermelon or the mint. So I'm gonna put it ahead of red velvet and cotton candy, and I'm gonna put it in third place. I feel bad for cotton candy. That's purely because I can't taste it. Okay, so one that I'm intrigued about that I have not tried, and just keeping to like the, I'm trying to see if I can beat watermelon, to be honest. They're going on to blue raspberry, which is one that I spotted. Appreciate the packaging again. Oh, vibrant blue color. Okay, I'm excited. Mmm, mmm, it smells nice. I got the smell this time before the taste. Mmm, <laughs> yum, yummy. Oh yeah, <laughs> really shouldn't just be sitting here eating toothpaste. It's really nice. I appreciate this one as well. Oh. Yeah, that's nice. It's nice, but it doesn't give you like that, ooh, burst fruity flavor like watermelon, so it's not number one. The freshness on this one is really nice, and that blue raspberry is so tasty, so it's definitely better than the chocolate toothpaste. I'm not sure if I place it above mint or not. I'm just gonna have to do mint now and make the decision. I'm gonna get, I hope I don't get a tummy ache from all of this toothpaste. No, okay, mint is definitely second. Blue raspberry, you are third. If you want, you can disqualify mint in your mind if you're like, what is the point of high smile if I don't buy other flavors other than mint? I'm just being fair because I do own it and I do really like that mint flavor, but obviously you can take it out, in which case it'd be watermelon, then straight to blue raspberry for me, and then chocolate. So it's up to you how you want to look at this one, but blue mint is, uh, sorry, smooth mint is really nice. I'm going to go for strawberry next because I feel like it's a really good one to put up against watermelon to try and knock it out of first place. Yum. Mm. It's just what you'd expect from this. So those hard, like, yum. <laughs> the strawberry candies, like, are they called the Lifesavers? No. What were the ones that were, like, just strawberries and cream and it just tastes like the strawberry side to that? It is really nice. It is clearly strawberry. It is a really nice flavor. I have to try a watermelon to see if I prefer this one over that one. I'm in two minds. This is really yummy and this is really overpowering. So I feel like I wouldn't be able to continue to brush with this all the time as much as I'm like, wow, with this one tester, this would be the safe all round every time yummy, yummy, yummy option that I wouldn't get sick of as quickly. So it's going to take first place just based on that. And so if you're looking for like a power smash, like really intense, like wowza flavor from a high smell, watermelon would go over strawberry. But just for like all day, every day use and just like really yummy and just like foolproof, strawberry has taken first place. Now I'm going to pick up, just to be fair, peached iced tea because this is my favorite or was my favorite before trying some of these and I haven't compared them against watermelon and strawberry back to back. I feel like if something's gonna go into first place, it would be peach iced tea. So let me just, I love it. That's so interesting. I don't know if I'd pick that over strawberry or watermelon. I love it. That's really interesting to me. I'm not going to put it in first place. Strawberry's gonna stay in first place. Watermelon is going to go into second and it's actually gonna take fourth place because I wouldn't put it over mint. Again, if you're not gonna keep mint as one of your options, then it's third place. But for me, mint is definitely in there. So peach iced tea is taking fourth and that's like, what the hell to me? Because that was my favorite that I was using all the time before stopping the high smile. So we've got five left. Okay, we've got grape bubble gum, coconut, vanilla, banana, and mango sorbet. I'm gonna go on for some of these like more subtle flavors and just place them somewhere because I feel like they're not going to give number one a run for its money, but I would like to know where I think I would place them. So I'm gonna go on for vanilla. So I feel like a lot of people would be like vanilla and mint, like that doesn't go, or vanilla and brushing your teeth. If you want something that just really goes with most like Instagram aesthetic bathrooms, like vanilla, that's <laughs> the one to go with. Vanilla, let's go. Mmm, the smell. Oh, no. <laughs> what? Ugh. Ugh. No, no, no. Last place. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> That's not, not, like, oh, what the hell did I just eat? Hang on. Let me just refresh that one and try again because I feel like, mm -mm. no, it really does smell like that and taste like that. I don't know what that smells like. It's just, for lack of a better word of describing this, it just smells manky. I just can't. Like, I get it. I understand. But with the kick of like the freshness that comes in and like that whole vibe with the vanilla, 
it doesn't work for me that is my least favorite I, I really don't enjoy that at all like okay another flavor I'm, I'm usually not a fan of is I don't like the fake banana flavors so I'm gonna go in with this one I would have thought I would put this in the last place we will see the smell is like any lolly banana smell you would imagine and the taste is exactly like that but I do not dislike that as much as the vanilla and once again I feel bad for cotton candy because I can't taste it but I would put this over red velvet yeah I actually really like that how weird maybe I don't hate fake banana anymore I appreciate that that's nice it just it really does taste like banana candy so I would have it over vanilla cotton candy I'm so sorry I would have that over I'm stuck with blue raspberry so let's just go here it's one behind blue raspberry there we go mmm blue raspberry <laughs> Okay, banana, in you go. Random. I wouldn't have thought that would have gone that high. Three more to go. I'm going to go with coconut because I'm intrigued by the grape bubble gum and mango sorbet sounds nice. So let's just go with coconut because I feel like this is like a question mark one as well. Kind of like the vanilla or the banana. There's a really big mint kick that was my like reaction but then also I feel like I've just eaten the smell of fake tan <laughs> What? It's it No It tastes like fake tan smells because I understood the coconut is there but with like the there's like a mint there's like a freshness to all of these as I said but some of them have like a mint freshness so some of them don't taste minty because the flavor overpowers them um however this one the mint is there so like with that and the freshness with then like the coconut it literally smell sorry tastes like the smell of baked tan I can't get over that I would have it over the vanilla but it's not going on <laughs> I <laughs> cotton candy. I'm so sorry. I, I don't know if this is just like a bad idea to taste these in order, but like that is how I feel about coconut whip. I'm sorry, like <laughs> coconut whip. <laughs> okay, two more to go. I'm gonna go mango because it's open and no one has tried the grape in my household yet. So that's like a oh I wonder what they taste like kind of thing. So let's go with this one. Ugh. Mm -mm. The mint is too overpowering in there. I don't really get much of the mango. Oh, there we go, mango. So it's like a mango lassie, if you've had that, like a milky mango. Not a fresh, like, fruity, refreshing, juicy mango. It is definitely more on the, like, the dessert side of mango. But with the mint, no. I don't know if I'd eat fake tan or that over this. I don't know. I'd probably put it slightly over. Vanilla is definitely the end for me. That one's tricky for me. Um... <laughs> So yes, in third to last place, it's going to go there. I just can't cope with that. That is strange to me. Okay, lucky last. <laughs> I'm getting really over these. <sighs> Let's go in for the bubble gum, grape bubble gum. It smells like any grape lolly you would think of. Just the ones that are shaped like a grape with a little bit of green on them. Those really nice sour ones. That's what that smells like. Mm. It's nice. It's sickly. Poor. It's a very strong with the mint. Wowza. If you are a grape lolly person, you will like this. Do I think it's better than some of the ones that we've tried? Like, it's fun. All of these are very fun to try. Would you continue to keep, like, brushing your teeth with them? Maybe not for some of these. This one is strong. It is fun, though. Would I have it over banana? Probably not. Would I have it over the chocolate one? Yes, I would. So it's going to go after banana. So that is my official ranking of... Hi, smell. So my top three are number one is strawberry, second place is watermelon, and third place is the mint. That is the kind of verdict of doing these taste testers. Oh my goodness, my mouth and my stomach are like not happy with me after that. <laughs> it was worth it if you learned something from this. If you're going to remove the mint just for the sake of this video, it's interesting that the fruit ranks the highest. So strawberry, watermelon, blue, peach iced tea, banana, grape. And then everything else apart from mango, which is a sorbet, which is a dessert, which is why it said mango lassie flavoured. Yes. Anyway, that was <laughs> my little wrap up of High Smile toothpaste. They're all very exciting. Like, I wouldn't say don't try any of them apart from maybe vanilla. And I don't know if you'd like fake tan in your mouth. But interested to know if you've tried coconut and you think it tastes like fake tan. <laughs> or is that just me? I don't know. Maybe I've put it in people's heads now and they're going to think this one tastes like fake tan. 
who knows anyway that was my video i hope you enjoyed it i hope you found it helpful and yeah make sure you come back and hang out sometime soon thank you for watching